Assalamu alaikum. My name is Nadia and I am here with Ibrahim. And if you don't know Ibrahim, let me introduce him. He is 14 years old. He reverted to Islam a year ago. So he was only 13 when he took his Shahada. And uh, recently, he walked 35,000 steps to the Masjid, to be at the Masjid. And what's amazing about this young man is that he's so well versed already in um, just a short amount of time. Uh, but welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as -salam. Thank you. Thank you for, um, for, t for talking with yeah, me. I really wanted pleasure. to meet you. Um, you've been an inspiration even to those who are already Muslims. Um, I'm also a revert, so um, I understand kind of the journey. But I have some questions for you. I mean, yep. I have so many questions after hearing about your story. It's really yep. amazing. Of course. SubhanAllah. So um, tell me a little bit about, like, just, um, you know, what led you to, because you said you started at a very young age of 10, mm -hmm. where you yep. started questioning yep. um, your faith. And uh, by the way, tell me your faith, your, what was your faith? Because yeah. originally I was born in Italy. I was born in uh, southern Italy, Sicily. I was born there, uh, spent a few years though, was born, in, born Roman Catholic, and then moved to the U.S. Uh, for school. I moved to Arizona originally, and we, we were just like a good Christian family. Went to church every Sunday, just life was good, and then we moved to California. And then my dad became, just left Christianity, became hardcore atheist. And then over time, it was just like six, seven, eight, I was going to church, everything was fine. But then it was eight, I was, that's when I, everything started. I started questioning everything at eight. I was a little bit concerned about how Jesus could be God because I knew there was something wrong with it ever since I was eight years old. And so over time I was still Christian but I was questioning my faith until I got the age of, uh, until I reached the age of 10. Was, that's when I started questioning it a lot. So I knew Jesus was not God at that point because nobody could prove that he was. So I started looking into other religions like around age 11-ish. And so the first, the first one I came around was Judaism because I had Jew Jewish friends. So you're like, how did you do this? Like, was it online? Was yeah. it did you read books? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I, was I, it was online. Yes, it was all online. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it was like YouTube. You just start googling yeah. things. Yeah, YouTube like, started studying it. Yeah, and so a lot of the things in Judaism made sense, but the main thing mm -hmm. is that it is an ethno religion. So even if a non-Jewish person wants to become Jewish, they would still be treated as less or a second class citizen, a second class Jew. So I, I ruled that out because nobody wants to be second class. And then I looked into Buddhism, but they don't believe in a god. And then that was the same with other religions as well, like similar ones. And then I looked uh, more into Christianity just to see if my faith was true. And I looked deep, deep into it for the next year or so. And I realized there was some major flaws, such as the Trinity. That was the main one. Right, because... For you, mm -hmm. like, what is it that doesn't make sense out of the Trinity? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That there is three, correct? Yes. And, yeah, so mm -hmm. it was, so you started, um, so that's what where you put it, and you started mm -hmm. to look. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, what made you really, like, hone in to Islam? So, then after all these religions, I started looking into Islam, and then everything just started, everything started going together. And so I saw everyone was equal. Like, when everyone's praying, like, anyone can, like, be the leader as long as they know more Quran. Like the janitor could lead behind like multimillionaires, for example. And there's just equality. Like race doesn't matter, like your previous sins don't matter. And also I started looking further into the Quran. I started reading the Quran and everything made sense. I didn't see any contradictions. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I did have a question, it was answered very quickly, unlike the questions I had with other religions. So that's when I started looking very, very deep into it around age 12. And so over the time, like over the past few months, when 12, then I turned 13, over time I was listening to scholars, reading books, researching online. But then over the past few months, during that time, I realized Islam was the truth. I had no doubt about it. And then I went to the, the masjid. I finally managed to convince my parents after like two weeks or so. They were a little little uh, skeptic about it, but eventually they let me go, and then that day so I So how did you convince them? This is really interesting. Because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I said, it'll be all right. It's not too big of a change, I told them, because we both believe in the same God. We, be we believe in the prophets, etc., etc. And so then they were like, okay, you can. <laughs> and then that's the day I went to the masjid and I took my shahada. 
SubhanAllah, that's amazing. And so I hear now that your grandmother is like considering, it's, or anybody yeah. else, like your family, yeah. so your she, grandmother. She's interested in it, yeah, she would like to learn more. That's amazing, amazing. I hope you inspire so many other people. I really see you as potentially like a scholar, just yeah. because, I mean, I'm so impressed by the way your knowledge, and um, not just your knowledge, but I mean, you're already using a lot of terms, um, have you already started to learn how to read? Like, what is mm -hmm. what is your extent of, of your knowledge right now? Because I feel like mm -hmm. you know so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I've started to learn Arabic a little bit. I'm not too good on it, but, yeah, over time I'll be slowly learning it. But I've also been going very deep into film as well. That's the main thing. SubhanAllah. And then you told me that something about um, what really was um, different about Islam mm -hmm. is... Um, is it's so it's the it's the one God correct? Yes, so mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and the, the equality as well because every Muslim is equal. Yeah, like no difference between white or black, like Asian, um, Indian. There, everyone is the same. The only difference is piety. That's amazing. I mean, I'm like I said, it's just your knowledge, the way that you kind of um, you know you you studied the religions and that you really identified. You know, it, it, like you pinpoint things of each religion and really, I mean, it's like, it's amazing. You really, really did your research. And that's what I'm so impressed about with your age. So, mashallah, mashallah. Well, I really, um, I hope you inspire more and I hope you really do continue on and hope maybe even become a scholar. Do you have any, um, like, ins do you have any um, wish to potentially... Um, Eventually, like, I, I teach. Do plan like, are you are you more, are you kind of a teacher? Yeah. Or like, of course, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. I've uh, been teaching my friends, and they've been learning, and I've already um, convinced a few people to turn to Islam. Before. Have you yeah. really? Yes. You, it's like you've yeah. you've actually helped people come yeah. to Islam already. Like yeah. how many people? So far, at least three or four. Subhanallah. So it's like <laughs> you continue to amaze me. So Subhanallah. Yeah. Well, um, I look forward to like continue to to find out about. Just things that you're that you're you're doing, and and I'm happy that you joined the community at MCC. And um, yeah, oh yes. Thank and, you, Wadi. And Eid Mubarak, because it's really close to Eid. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.